G'day, welcome back to Dark Soil Gaming and Lakeland Vale Farm. This is a new map by Stevie. The map is available on Facebook. Link will be down below in the description. So feel free to go and collect it. Great map. Thanks, Stevie. All right, let's get into it. So we've just finished fueling up the 8400 here. And we're going to go put some lime on the field we just uh, cultivated the cotton we got rid of because uh, we're not going to buy a cotton harvester and or even lease one so we just thought we'd just uh since we bought the farm we just get rid of the cotton straight off and re-sow a crop in there and get going from there so what we're going to do is i'm going to get this guy over here i'm going to hire a worker and uh and get that done and then we've got a delivery to pick up at the store i wonder if anyone can think of what the delivery is Bet you can't. <clears throat> anyway, we are going to go pick it up and uh, we'll see how that pans out. It's a bit of a trial and error type thing, uh, but in any case, we'll see. All right, so we're going to get this guy going up here. And off he goes. All right, so let's uh, let him go. And we'll be happily churning away there, putting the line down on the field. We may have to come back. You may run out of line. We'll just have to see how that goes as well. All right, now we are going to head over to the shop and we're going to go and have a look and see what we've got waiting for us. So let's head over there and uh, have a look. All right, so here we are in the shop. We've uh, just signed the paperwork and we've got to go out and have a look and see what's out there. Did you see it? We have a clue. All right. Oh, well, let's go. No time like the present. It's going to hurt. All right, where's the door? And there it is <clears throat> yes that's right we've really gone to the dark side we traded in the new holland because we figured well seeing as we are using some john deere on the farm we might as well trade that in so while it was still brand new we uh, returned it to the store traded in the headers and we bought a new s790 uh, with a 618c corn header and we also bought a mcdon is it mcdon I'm pretty sure it was mcdon uh, a 45 foot Combine header, yeah, McDon, 75S Flex Draper. So that is the configuration we're going to have for now for our uh, combine harvesters. Um, they didn't have the model we actually wanted, but uh, in any case, that should do. All right, so we're going to put on the uh, the beacons, and we're going to bring this back to the farm. We also did purchase, as you can see there, waiting for us, a windrower. In fact, we better raise the, uh, the corn header before we scrape the little daylights out of that. Um, and we did buy a uh, windrow, yes, because we didn't have a windrow on the farm. So uh, we are going to need that soon. Uh, because strangely enough, we like doing some grass. And there is a lot of grass on this map to work with. And uh, we'll be making the most of that. Of course, we will be getting some animals in as well. And as per normal with my gameplay, the animal of choice is sheep. Because um, that just means I have to do more grass work. That <laughs> work goes hand in hand. It's hand and glove. All right. So that's what we're going to do. Anyway, let's uh, drive this thing back to the farm. Bit of uh, pause and hesitation there about going in the cab, but anyway. So we're just going to head up the road here. So the farm isn't too far away. You can see the farmhouse there on the right-hand side. Uh, so we're coming up to that. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy straight around to field five because we're going to get straight into that. Although we do need to drop off the corn header first. So we're going to do that. We're going to go into the farm where the big placeable area is. We're going to drop the header there for now. Uh, we didn't get a trailer or anything for this header. So uh, it's just going to have to be put on the ground. All right. So we're going to... Uh, I don't think there's anything in here now. So we can get through here. All right. Pass through the shed. Head back around here and we'll... Uh, deposit this header out of the way and then we'll head on over to field five so we did buy some extra fire extinguishers as well while we're using the john deere uh, they they are known to want to catch a blaze at short notice um, so <laughs> we bought some extra fire extinguishers in fact we should have bought a fire truck that's what we probably should have bought just spent money on a fire truck that way we would be okay all right I think just there will be sufficient for the placement of this. 
think we'll probably just go in a little bit further. All right, there we go. Okay, now we'll head back around and head off to around the field five, and we'll uh, get started. I think I just took out part of the header then. That's okay. All right. So uh, I'm not so sure we can get to field five. Actually, let's have a look at the map. I think I can get from field five. Zoomed in a bit far. Yeah, I don't know that I've got access to field five down through here. So I think we're going to have to go up through here. We could get down and have a look, but the path is fairly narrow. And uh, I don't want to get the, uh, the combine stuck. <clears throat> we'll have enough problems keeping it running as it is, let alone having to do anything else like that. All right. Hope everyone is doing well. Uh, this is our second episode back here on Lakeland Vale. And uh, we're going to enjoy this map. We really are. So uh, hope you can stay with us. Hope you can continue to follow along and uh, experience the journey of uh, looking after this map. All right. So this is the field we need to harvest. So we'll turn in here. We'll disconnect the header. And then we'll connect the header. Now, there is one thing I've noticed with this header. Well, in fact, there's been a few headers and a few different things. Um, we've got a bit of a slope here. Whoops. I didn't want to go to reverse, just wanted to, right. Now if I undo this, it may well just start rolling away. Let's see. Yep, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> Alright. So we've got to go play catch the header. Alright. <clears throat> Something to be said for using headers without the wheels on the bottom. Um, and possibly using brakes, but anyway, this will suffice, hopefully. All right, let's see how we go. Uh, are we not going to be able to connect it? Well, it'd probably help if I, instead of run, <laughs> using it as a bulldozer, um, probably help if I line it up a bit better. Perhaps. There we go. That's better. Right, I started to think it wasn't going to work. Right. There we have it. Right, let's fold that up. And uh, we'll get prepped, ready to do this. Now, we need to bring over a tractor and trailer to assist us here. And then we should be okay. In fact, we've got a tractor and we've got the overloader. Um, the auger wagon, so we can bring that over. All right, I think our hired hand has finished. Let me have a quick look. Uh, yes, he has finished. So let's go over and grab that tractor from here. And we'll take this back. Um, oh, well, there you go. So he didn't use any line. So we've, we've got another setting we need to fix in the game. I'll do that after this, uh, this episode, but we're not using the line. We're automatically refilling it. Um, I don't want that to happen, so we're going to have to turn that off. So we've got to buy our seed and our lime and everything else without it being automatically uh, either purchased or supplied for nothing. So, anyway, we'll take this back and we'll grab the Elma and, uh, and come back out to field five. And we'll get started on the harvesting of that fuel, the canola. All right, we'll just park this behind the truck here because there's the Elmer over there. And then uh, we'll come and collect that later and give it a bit of a wash and then put it away. All right, let's uh, grab the Elmer. If I line up properly. This is what happens when you don't play the game for a while. You get out of touch with steering and everything else. That's the, that's the excuse I'm going to use. All right, let the cover off and we'll head on over to the combine and get him started. Now, what we could do is we could use course play uh, and do that. We have got course play enabled for this series. Um, I don't plan on using course play a lot. Um, we certainly will be using it for periods. Um, 
But I think for the moment we might, uh, uh, no, we might just send him on course play. We might just use this combine on course play and then go from there. All right, let's do that. Now, I can't remember, in fact, let's go and have a look at the shop. I can't remember which one I got as to whether the capacity, um, I don't know if it's 90,000 or not. <clears throat> we'll have to just jump in and find out, won't we? Uh, it's not telling me. All right, let's, uh, whoops, back off. And we'll bring up our course plate and we'll set up our course. Uh, course generation, course five, uh, head link, we're gonna do one around, that's what we need to do. Generate field course, okay, back. All right, now we're gonna get started. We're just going to kick start this off. And then from here. Oh, wrong button. And then from here, what we're going to do is we're just going to go nearest waypoint, drive course. And he. Well, he's supposed to merrily go along. Hey, come back. What are you doing? Hey. Run away combine. Is this what John Deere's do all the time? Right, now we've lost some of our crop. Great. Right. Um, well, what we'll do, that's change that plant. Let's just do it manually. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. Well, there's the disaster for this episode. Let's hope it's the only one. All right. So we'll just manually drive around and activate this one. So what we'll do is we'll get rid of our course play course. There we go. All right. Done. So the gods were telling us that we needed to uh, do it manually. All right. So we've got a lot of bit, little bit of cleaning up to do coming back through that other way. But I'm sure we'll clean that up all right in the end. All right, off we go. So yes, as we said in the previous episode, uh, this this uh, map has quite a lot of undulations, uh, hills and all that sort of stuff. And as you can see, we're heading down into another little valley here. This field here has got quite some uh, variation, which is wonderful. It's one of the things I do like about uh, Stevie's maps in the fact that we do get all that variation. Um, I mean, yes, I know some, some areas are very flat, but uh, I like to have that little bit of variation and certainly Stevie gives us that uh, which is uh, wonderful. What I've loved about all Stevie's maps uh, ever since I started playing Farm Sim, um, Sherwood Park Farm and Beaver Creek and, and everything else he's brought out I uh, thoroughly enjoyed so um, this will be a no exception at all I'm sure. All right so what have we got? We've got uh, 2,000 in there at 15%. So that means it's not the 90,000 capacity hopper in this, which is great. It means we're not uh, got the oversized one. And uh, we'll be able to just continue on. So that means that 20% is going to be, let's see what we hit up, about 3,000. So it's going to be about a 14,000, 15,000 capacity in the uh, grain bin. So uh, that's okay. We'll get plenty of work. Now, um, one of the things in the last episode we did highlight the fact that uh, Focus Interactive, the publishers of Farming Sim for Giants, um, stated that there will be no uh, Farming Simulator game for fiscal year 2021. Uh, just 55 minutes ago, Giants have announced on their Facebook page, they put an announcement out saying that that is indeed correct. Uh, there will be definitely three DLCs over the coming year. Um, and that's primarily because they want to wait to see what new generation consoles bring before they make it. Now, as I said, I'm going to talk about this uh, in another forum. Uh, I'll make a separate video about it a little bit later when things sort of settle down. Um, 
a lot of people may say it's a good thing. Certainly for the console players, it's a good thing. Uh, I read it as a bad thing for PC. Uh, now, why? I read it that they are still going to consider, contemplate, well, not contemplate, they are going to definitely concentrate on supporting console. Uh, I certainly raised it in our State of the Game video. I raised it, uh, which I'll link up above if you want to go back and watch that. Uh, I will also, also stated it very early on in the release of Farming Sim 19 that they're abandoning the true simulating, simulation fans and PC and the simulation aspects of the game and looking at just supporting console as a matter of pure platform sales. Again, that's, that's my speculation. Um, and uh, I, I'm very fearful that that's exactly what the case is. And uh, I would hope that that's not going to be the end case and they will actually see the errors of their way a little bit. Um, because, I mean, ultimately, the majority of the mods are made by PC players. Um, I don't know of that many console players or modders that mod in PC uh, just for the console. There's, there probably are some. Uh, but I don't see there's that many, um, and and yeah, it's it's we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. But uh, I wouldn't like that to be the case. But somehow I think that's exactly what the case is. Um, but anyway, we'll, we've time will tell, and uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stress myself over it at all in any way, shape, or form. We'll just sort of see where uh, the devil lies in the detail, as the saying saying goes. So. We'll wait and see. But yes, definitely three DLCs in the coming 12 months um, and no new game. So I would expect, as I've uh, talked about in our Discord, uh, I would be expecting the next Farming Simulator game to hit the shelves around uh, November 2021. We definitely won't be seeing anything before April 2021. And I reckon they'll stick to their release periods of uh, close to Christmas so uh, Q4 of the year so that'll be Q4 2021 um, so it gives us almost two years with Farming Simulator 19 um, so I, I guess the next thing then is the discussion on um, what are the DLCs going to be uh, now there's, there's only going to be pure speculation here I would like to hope that while they've got the time to work on the DLCs and, and all that sort of stuff that they bring a new crop in and, and something new like perhaps even irrigation bring some water into the game uh, meaningful water um, that'd be really nice but uh, insofar as whether they're going to bring any brands in whether it be a John Deere one or whatever else I certainly don't hope it's a John Deere one um, and I'm not saying that just because I don't like John Deere but I think we've we've got pretty much enough John Deere stuff now um, if it was a brand that's uh, bit unusual or we don't have anything much of that's fine I would like to say something like a brand from say for instance uh, let's say Kenworth or do a multiple of um, a DLC with multiple equipment so say for instance some Kenworth trucks um, and uh, some other mo I, I mean I don't know I'd like to see a, a bit more variation um, but we'll have to wait and see so anyway that's what's happening in the farming sim world for now now, I mean, everyone's going to be, as I said in the last episode, everyone's going to be out there giving their opinion and saying, oh, this is what's going to happen and all that sort of stuff, some more than others. Um, but at the end of the day, just take it with a grain of salt because no one really knows. Um, even those that are, um, well, the golden-haired children of giants, um, <laughs> that's the way I'll describe them at the moment, without without trying to be offensive or anything to them, um, even they don't know, they won't know all the details as yet because Giants won't even know all the full details as yet. Um, and anyone that thinks that, they may have a plan, um, but they wouldn't have it all fleshed out yet. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Time will tell. All right. We're getting on with this. This is uh, great. We're at 70% uh, now. So we're certainly powering along. Um, just not powering along with uh, hired hand or anything. Like we could put a hired hand on now. We could just have them uh, go through and continue on. Um, 
but I think what we'll do is we'll just continue to do this manually for now and go from there. All right, so just align ourselves a bit better so we can see what's going on. Right. Now we aren't using the uh, the GPS mod or whatever the, it was called, um, the updated GPS mod, because I still don't think it's anywhere near as good as the old GPS mod. Um, yes, I know we're not going to get it back, but um, I think I'd just rather do it manually or use course play. So I'm not going to be using that. Um, what else are we using though? We are using Follow Me uh, on this map. We <clears throat> are using the majority of, well, we've got all of Stevie's mods for FS19 enabled on the game. Um, that includes his, his production buildings, uh, all of his tractors, all of his combines, all the stuff he's done, we've got enabled so we can use it at any time. Uh, doesn't mean we are going to use it, um, but certainly we have a lot of his stuff here. Uh, we have a lot of other stuff that's also enabled. Um, the Easy Cut Mowers, uh, the six deck mower system. Uh, we'll see that at some point. And, uh, and of course we've got the Big M450 and the Big M500 as well, which will make its uh, return at some point, I would imagine. But for now, uh, we haven't got the cash to go out splashing on all this luxurious equipment, apart from what we really need at the moment. So uh, we'll, time will Time will tell yet again. Um, <laughs> seems like we've got a discount coupon for saying time will tell. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we'll have to wait and see where uh, where things go with our finances and our production because we want to actually start uh, growing the farm. Uh, I mean, we've got our five fields to deal with at the moment, but then we want to get some animals in. We need to support them. We need to get then get some more fields going and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so... Uh, yeah. Uh, insofar as what we're going to do off camera for this series as well, um, it will be very minimal. I think I'm going to try and keep most of the stuff where I can on camera. Uh, obviously, there will be a fair bit of stuff that will have to be done off camera, um, but we'll play that by ear. We are not using seasons, even though the map is seasons uh, compatible and ready. Uh, I've decided that I'm not going to use seasons on this one. We just want to do a, a very general and just fun play through on the map and just enjoy the look of the map and everything else so um yeah so we won't be doing seasons like i said this season is compatible uh so if you've got it certainly run seasons run one of the us uh geos uh and uh, and you'll be fine but um we however won't be doing it all right we are almost full In fact, any second now will be full. Will we get the end? No, not quite. All right. So, uh, can do that. Now, the problem with it is I also do have the uh, developer controls, easy developer control mod on, uh, just purely for turning on and off the HUD. And as you can see, when I press O for the pipe, it also turns off the uh, the HUD. So I'm going to have to um, make a change to uh, my um, key mapping. To fix that anyway all right let's uh, head on in over here we'll uh, offload the combine and continue on I must say though it is very unusual very disturbing in a way seeing all this uh, John Deere equipment on one of my maps and videos um, <laughs> the last time we used any any serious John Deere or a lot of John Deere stuff was in the uh, Lone Oak farm episodes as we were finishing off with farming simulator 17 um, so yeah and we didn't get to go too far with that either so uh, we might have to go back to that at some point the old FS17 and, and finish that series off who knows in fact if you want, it, want us to do that let me know in the comments down below uh, it could be quite interesting back on the original Lone Oak the original and the best no offence to Oxygen David but uh, the FS19 one is nothing I don't think compared to the original alright so we're going to get going again here uh, and noting what time it is, uh, it's almost time to uh, to sign off. We are going to uh, certainly um, sign off from this video and we're going to return to you very soon. And we would have finished this field. We're going to finish this field off. We'll, that's one of the things we will do off camera today. 
um, and we'll uh, we'll return and then we'll have to start looking at what else we've got to harvest uh, what else we've got to plant so obviously we've got to plow this field in and then uh, and prep it for planting and all that sort of stuff again uh, so uh, we'll have to do that and then we're going to look at doing the animals and I think that's probably the first thing we'll do in the next episode we'll look at uh, getting some sheep going which means we have to look for some grass get some grass cut and there's a fair bit of grass around us now and around the fields we own so we can just probably mow all that and bring that in for those uh, the sheep anyway I hope you liked the episode I um, hope we didn't drag on too much uh, getting back into the swing of things with this and uh, I hope you liked it if you did press that like button that's nice and simple if you didn't that's okay chewy on your boot we don't mind and of course if you're not already subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing we'd love to have you part of the family and don't forget to press that alarm notification icon as well so you're made aware of when new farming sim videos and any other videos are available on the channel and of course don't forget to possibly think about being a patreon supporter patreon supporters uh, help us keep the channel going in the costs that are used for running the channel and yes even being a small channel like us there are costs involved um, but certainly not enough to uh, to make us rich but every little bit helps so if you consider that that'd be fantastic if not that's okay there's no obligation and you don't get thought of any less or more well maybe a little bit more for those that do but no less anyway that's it from me and hopefully you've had a wonderful time and we'll see you again very very soon back here at the Dark Soil of Gaming and don't forget no matter whether it's morning, afternoon, evening or night, no matter around the world, take care of yourselves and your loved ones and we'll see you again very very soon back here at Dark Soil of Gaming and Lakeland Vale. See you later. Bye.